Good morning. All right, back here at uh, South Mississippi Light Aircraft. This week they are hosting a Rotax training seminar. So I, th I thought I'd come out here and capture some of the highlights of what those classes look like. So here in Loosedale, Mississippi, and class is about to start right now. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to go over checking our, our leak down and our compression and stuff. And as I mentioned, I'm, you know, I hope we, I'm kind of mixed because this is my personal engine. You know, I hope we do find a little bit of something, but I hope we don't in the same aspect. But, you know, I, I know a guy that could fix it if we do. So, so, so compression on these little engines. Uh, let's get get started on do the little spill. We do the owner's manual, the maintenance manual, line maintenance manual on how to do this procedure. Uh, cr the correct method of checking compression. To understand the test as it relates to the engine's health. Use of safety practice to avoid damage and injury. Who in here has done a differential leak down or check? Most everybody. If you if you have it, we're going to get you some hands on. Mr. Darrell, we'll get you. Daniel. I don't know why I said Darrell. I got Darrell back up. So, anyway, so we will get you some hands on out here. And we have to, have to take and make sure that when we do the differential cylinder check, we look on our gauge itself where it says 0 .040 orifice. We need that size orifice in it. If we don't have that size orifice and we go with a bigger orifice, we'll get a different reading, which will not be correct. That's it. Right, who wants to pull them two plugs out on top of where for them? Now, if, when you start taking it out, if it starts getting to where it won't turn, put take and turn it back in because as we take the plugs out, as we take the plugs out, it may have some carbon on the end of the threads. And if we take and pull that carbon through the thread, then we're going to this aluminum head will mess the threads up on the head. Okay. So as we're taking the plugs out, if it starts binding up, huh? screw it back down in and work it back and forth a few times to help clean the carbon off the threads. Gotcha. Leave the carbon in there instead of taking it out with it. Correct. Yes. And these are these are pretty new plugs in the thing. The guy tried, he kept it service. It's only got. Um, you keep the track up? Not really. Okay. But I mean, we can. Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's two. This is four. You guys are and they're coming up really easy. How can that be two? He just handed him one. Over here. Over there? Yeah. Two and four and five and a half is over here. So, more ladies down. They, they're looking pretty good. Which you say? They're basically brand new plugs. So now, what we're gonna do is we've got this tool here that we use. A lot, um, you can buy these as the extension to come out. All right, so you guys there, I want y'all to back up a second. I gotta turn the prop. Mags and everything are off, which are here. Here they are in the off position, correct? Yes, sir. All right. They're both in the same direction. So I'm going to take the cap off the oil can. Now, one thing that I want to do is just out of, for grins, I want to look at my oil level. We can see it's above the flat, so this particular application is already over full. So, clear, Mr. Rock. So now I want to take my thumb and put it over the end here. Roll the engine over. See, we got compression right there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is my differential checker ga gauge here. Note it has 0.040 as the orifice. Now, 
plug it up beforehand to make sure that somebody hasn't got it out of your box and turned it wide open. And don't plug it up until you've checked that. All right, Mr. Jim, may you step back where I get a little room here? Now what I want to do, and who, who in here has or has not used one of these? You've never used one before? So my method of using this thing is, I'll, and everybody's still clear of the prop, yep. watching the prop, I'll bring it up to 20 pounds and see the prop moved. Yep. So it was not top dead center. So now what I want to do is go back. You hear it bypassing back. It got neutral where I'm at now. It's neutral position on the prop. When it started coming out of the pressure to a neutral state. Now everybody's still clear. I went to say come out of pressure. Where was it before? Well, on the prop. Okay. So all right, come here. How do you know? Oh, oh, you feel. Got it. You feel the pressure. Got you've it. got you've got pressure on it. Got it. So you feel the compression on it as got you it. come up. You've got pressure on it, and then it goes neutral. Got it. Because I went fast with it. So we came up on on pressure here. So now we're seeing 2020 here. We'll see how close we are now. So let's come on up on it, standing clear, clear. Mr. John. Coming up. My gauges are. Right. It's a top dead center on compression stroke. On compression stroke. All right, we're coming up on this cylinder. So now we are 87. Showing this gauge here's a pound or two also. I'm showing 86. Over 87 right now. So you don't just hold it when you do that? That's no. Well, you got to think about this. Is a You don't want to do that on a 100 horse with 30 degree ramp action. Because if you're off center on the other side, it can pop back the other side and, and take it out of your hand. Because you've got 30 degrees there of it moving the opposite direction. So you want to do everything you can to get it top dead center. Okay. You, do, you do that same technique on the Lycomies and stuff too? I don't work on Lycomies. You don't work on Lycomies? Those are big engines. <laughs> I, I, own, I own two Continentals and I worked on them so much I sold them and got me an engine I could actually fly. <laughs> So now, well, that's a good technique. I like that. If that works on those Continentals, I've been told after some students have left here that they use the same technique on a Continental like combing, so try, and it it sure. works really well. Now I'm going to take and get this one here set up. I just want to show y'all as we have here how far yeah. how close we are there. Now that didn't feel quite as strong as this other one, so. Let's see what we got. All right, so crank it back up to 20, and I'm on the back side of it. Back neutral. Coming on up. Everybody clear. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net. The Aviators Clinic at aviatorsclinic.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at flyfoxtrot95.com. Edge Performance at edgeperformance.no. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. Did you buy the whole thing or just the engine on this? I bought the whole plane. Everybody's still clear? We're 80 showing. 86, 85, 86, over 87. It's on that one. Over 87? Yeah, roughly. Because this gauge is a, is a pound or two on that side off. So, how long do you wait to. How long do I wait? Once it. Well, once it comes up and you've got the pressure up and it's reading, you can back it right back down. 
Now, if you have an issue, you leave it there and you figure out where you've got to leak at. And then, believe it or not, and you can, you can take as it's up and it's not um, reading correctly, you don't really hear anything past the rings, you can take that prop and wiggle it about this much, and the rings will bounce back and forth, and it'll, it'll seat. The rings will actually seat in there. The ring, it may be blowing by the rings a little bit. You can wiggle that a little, wiggle the prop just a little bit. All right, who wants to do number three? All right, well, I'm going to come around this way with the, with the gauge. Three is uh, by the starter. No, four. I'm sorry. Who wants to do number four? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got, I don't cross thread that in there now. I don't want to have to rework my head. <laughs> it's okay. He's an AMP. You got your AMP? I'm getting it in a couple months. Oh, well, I, I, can I, I, I can't. I can, oh, we, all right, step on this. You can't. You got to replace the whole head. Now, put your thumb over. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all clear? Now, you didn't go. There you go. Right there. That's it. That's as far as you need to go. Now, step on this side. Now, you're going. I think you're going to be a little bit past it. So, y'all got to stand clear on that clear. side. Clear. All right. Just come up a little bit. Come up to about 20. And then watch your prop as you're doing it. All right, you may be a little closer than I thought you were. Come on up. Start. Just start. As long as the prop's not moving, just keep coming up. Just keep watching clear, because you may. Might have got lucky. Yeah. I have had them go all the way to the top, and then pop off. Where'd you get that fit in? This come from aircraft spruce. I like that. Oh, okay, cool. They make them with those. Uh, All right, come on up to 87 here. 87. Yeah, 87 is what we use. Six. One little more. Seven. All right, so we're showing what 86, which is actually 85 yeah. on this gauge. I don't know. I think he's the compression whisperer. He got that right on. He there. did get that right on. I do it every day. <laughs> no, I got lucky. Man, if that works on those other engines, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a Christmas present. All right. That's awesome. You don't owe me nothing, man. You're paying for training. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you're right. <laughs> now, if, do next? you do you want to do the next one, or you who wants I can. to? Can somebody else? Can well, try. go ahead and do the next one, and then we'll we'll right. let everybody play with number two. Locked in, crank. Yeah. yeah. Sir. How good he is. You can do it twice. Shut up. Well, as long as you get it started in straight. Now, one of the keys to finding the compression is not being gentle as you come across, because if you come gentle, then you're not getting the compression on the stroke. You got to feel the compression coming up on it. So when you put your finger over it, put your finger over the. Now grab the prop, go that with direction of rotation, real fast. You're too slow. So come back again. All right, now feel it on your thumb. Took your thumb off. You okay, felt the compression. Yeah. Don't just push you. Don't push all the way down. You, you're making your thumb turn white. Let off of it. <laughs> just, just real lightly. Just real. Just bear it. Just bear, 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 right there. Right, right there. You, you feel the compression there? Yeah. You feel it bleed by right there? Right. All right. So now do it and come up on the thing. Put a balloon on there. When you feel it, yeah. yep. You passed, you passed it. Well, it's not like it's. When you start feeling it come up on compression. Right there. Yeah. Now you you feel it on your finger, Take blow it out. Off just a bit, yeah. And come on up. You're gonna be about right here on the prop. All right. Now stick it on there. Cause you, what you gotta do is you gotta feel that compression, get the most compression coming out against, against your thumb and when you feel it hit the highest compression that's usually top dead center once you feel the highest compression yes sir now when you start feel it come up then you still got to bring the piston on on up from there yeah i don't get that exactly but uh, well we can play with well and you got to make sure this is tight too because if you don't make sure that's tight then we'll leak air here all right you said come up to 20. come up to 20. stand behind the uh everybody clean <coughs> 
Clockwise? Yes, sir. All right, a little too far. Now, you got it 20? No, no, leave it 20. 20. All right, now pull it. This one at 20. Yeah. Now take and pull the prop down. You feel the pressure on it? Yes, sir. Now, when it starts getting losing pressure on your hand, your force and starts feeling light, that's when you're pretty much at. Well, there's 20, but I'm not feeling anything light yet. Going the other direction, right there, it takes it out of your hand. It kind of took it out of my hand there. Uh, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Did you run this once already, Morris? Yeah. yeah, not today, it's been two weeks ago. Yeah, you run it since you've had it. I've run it, I did run it to make sure I run it before I bought it. All right, now bring it up to 87. Uh, yeah, that those set of gauges get kind of tossed around. That's yeah, that's that's normal. That's the blow by. You know, that'd be the same. Come on up. I'm at 87. What's the other one? It's um, looks like it's about a little less. It's showing 91. Now hold on. 87. Is right there. So this one here is about a pound off. So we're we're 85, 86 over 87 with that one. Now back it off. Back it all the way back down. What's that? Oh, he didn't move, so it's top dead center. All right, who wants to come fill this and try it? Who hasn't done one before? You. Y'all want to? So we're just gonna play with number two here. That's good. All right. So what we're gonna do, John, uh -huh. is now you gotta find top dead center again. And you can feel it coming up on compression because you you're holding with the, all the plugs out of it. You can feel when you're starting to get up on the one. Now, why wouldn't the blade be in the same part for him? It should be. No, the gear ratio is direct, huh? Yeah, you done went around one time with it. Did you feel it? The blade get hard as you come across? Right. Don't be scared to turn it now. The, the faster you turn it, the easier it is to get the compression. That one looks, seems like it has some leak. Uh -oh. leak or something like that. Okay. And you can guess back and forth. It ain't. If you hadn't ever done it before, it, it takes a little bit. Now stand back, clear a prop. Clear prop. Mark, that doesn't mess up the spread clutch when you go back? Not no more than what we do. But we're not, um, we're not spinning it backwards a whole lot. We're just moving it real slow backwards. This is part one of several episodes on the Rotax service classes that South Mississippi Light Aircraft offers you. We'll give you the highlights, but if you want the full deep dive training, you'll have to pay money and get on the schedule for a class. Check out their website at flysmla.com and contact Ronnie or Morris Smith for more information. I've learned a whole lot so far. Can't wait for the next episode. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode.